Hwg dwnoch o'ch bân mac yn hyr, ymrag er yn drehan dawn sy'r yn rhyffaid hiwleg e. Yn drehan sŵrdol sy'n rhyffaid hiwleg y cwthn yn smwd sy'n eich gylwch fo'r bi. A chan sy'n rhy elenus, a sy'n i'n machedd rhyffaid hiwl ele, rhyffaid ne pibig. A mysio dy fi clwch i'n iawn stramat sio o fam i'n am yn ni yn fyg, ac ys harri sydd yn rhy, can i chi sy'n rhy ymyg pibig e ele, ac ys hysydd, gyfer ceol na pibe y tord tolwch ys mor iaith. Gydjaraf cwyddys yn iolwys, chan awn y fain i'r pibe dyn alabanoch, a chai dyn lwyd pibe dyn a chyd yn llun a gys yr dwylwch dyn pibe dyn eithr ialwch. Ach coas y hân ag y ffib fo hŵs, ceis chyddyf, ach fwas glwch eich lwch gech dyri hiwl o'r y. Ha, sy'n gwybi cyntioch gan dan ag y ffib fo'r o'n o'r pib yn fo... Irak, no Iran, far a fel mae'r esempler rhyfitio'n agos luachron, agos bwrn gai fy fi a genaf rhyfit cywl ers son pibe, ach fat lyntio'n eithr yn tosioch yw gawn o sna lyntio'n roi chryst, agos mystanig pib na pib yn gan rhoi'n iorpa agos mystan y gyffib do fredyn agos do galop a hyn. From Mesopotamia, we then have double pipes blown in the mouth with circular breathing. There's no bag at this date. We then have the double pipes of Egypt, ancient Greece and Rome. And we know that in Greece and Rome, these pipes were very sophisticated. Um, uh, particularly in the late Roman period, 200, 300 AD, where um, we have actual instruments that survive, several, about six or seven, from Pompeii and elsewhere. <laughs> There's no evidence of a bag for the pipes of Scotland or Ireland or England before about the 13th or 14th century. In fact, it's, it's the earliest uh, text of the Canterbury Tales where the miller is playing a bagpipe. That's the first evidence we have for a bag on the pipes of Britain and Ireland. And before then, the UK had um, a, a triple pipe. Um, it wasn't just the double pipe of an ancient uh, Egypt, Mesopotamia, Rome and Greece. It was um, a triple pipe and we see those um, from the 8th century, in fact, on Iona, um, St. Martin's Cross in front of the Abbey and Clon McNoise in Ireland and even Westminster Abbey. Uh, they all have representations of the triple pipe. So we know that certainly between the 8th and the 13th century, uh, the pipes, the prestigious, aristocratic and professional piping of, um, of Britain and Ireland uh, was bagless. Ha tôr rwt ynjyn o'ch awnd, gyfeil ffian y siawn ers o'n y ffib fôr am yn alapa, as dde yn cerf lyn y diwch, mae'n awn sy'n, yn coi gyf lyn y diwch, ach ha ffian y siawn ers o'n siosio dy ffib rôn mwfman och gyflyn, och gyflyn am y nolpa, ach bia'n môr môr i dyrawn sy'n agos yn awm yn ŵr y hanig ffianish y mach mae'r ffianish sgrif dy gyn rho pib dy siorsa agos chan yw cyntio dy siorsa pib a fawn, ach siorsa dy pib le rhyfitin agos mala am y nolpa fo'n mae'r esiamplen yn cerflun y diwg. And the bag 
starts to appear, uh, I think it possibly comes from the Middle East, whether it's from North Africa or through Eastern Europe, I'm not quite sure, but certainly bags become the thing. Uh, the fashion for a bag uh, just qu quickly spreads right the way across westwards and people uh, stop using the circular breathing, presumably the bag makes life a bit easier. And it does mean you can keep going for longer, and possibly it means that the intonation of the instrument can, can last longer. It also means you can play a bit louder. Dus dat je skillen zorgt je ik niet voor tjeelig en maar kan ik krimmen. Eigenlijk kan ik kaster, dan moet ze niet eens gaan. Nog eens kan ik krijgen, ze niet eens voelen. Eigenlijk de je voor tjeelig en er een tje voor, maar kan ik krieger. Eigenlijk dan kom ik niet aan ons transpe. Eigenlijk waar je te vaas skill al. Eigenlijk maar dan heb je niet jongens van de jurgen begint te. Um, she shows that they are very good at the same time, and they are very good at the same time. And they are very good at the same time, and they are very good at the same time. And they are very good at the same time, and they are very good at the same time. And they are very good at the same time, and they are very and the sculpture of the part of the beginning of the other Alpes and the Eden through the new generation. We are very happy to have a lot of different things in the world and we are very happy to have a lot of different things in the world and we are very happy to have a lot of different things in the world and we are very happy to have a lot of different things Na halapin, maar zijn hij bekken tontje, schaak en stu a hij in de leeg als de leerig in commente en laadju. Gaan je lange piepen wouden voor huis, en gestreg ne piepen gendu? Kan je ze wanneer schaun eunster met een kolach? Ga rooiet kolacher, le le fuim as ne rivetjen, maar hij het akin en du, ages. En rut zorgje aan ik aan aan een alpen gewil drie dossen, drie duis er er vijf ages haar zorgen die toas no balans aan ete voorm een dossen ages voorm een jeten ages maar wa voorm een jeten een vaas na slagere wa veemal nus om Dosele, so ha ha en triuur jeugend raaste, so ha ha voor een piep een vaas naar slaatjere, ages ha ieder het dol naar zaartje kutjoch. Ik ga niet eens kijken als een jaar via nog een haan ik in het hoshoch, en ik kan de schuil als een schun er vijf naar een jaar, zand die alapen gezongerij hij kuchiaatje aan een jaar in de woordloei. Whether it came to Scotland first, whether it came to England or Ireland first. We'll never know, and I think everyone in all those different countries will all claim their right to that heritage. Um, the, the thing about it for me is, wherever it came first, Scotland adopted it as our national instrument. Uh, and on the moment you lift a set of, of bagpipes, Great Highland bagpipes as they're known, the moment you lift a set of them, people immediately think Scotland, it's a brand now. and and. And the, and the bagpipe is, is the brand of Scotland. So to me, it, it, it will never probably matter now where it originated, nor probably will we ever know. But certainly on the southern part of Ireland and down around Cork and places like that, uh, three, four hundred years ago, there, there were pipes there at that time. Well, it has become 
symbolic of Scotland as a result of its use uh, in the Highland regiments from the 18th century through the Victorian era um, and through the, the, the Great War uh, perhaps in particular to the extent that now everywhere in the world um, the word bagpipe is immediately associated with Scotland even if um, in fact it belongs to a much wider area. Ha mi jech bliona a gish na vig yach mi ar inyet an in hoshach. Hoshich mi, or huir in glas sak in korum, ech tri hechner. Ach gamal lua, gan ich mi gro kjol na pipe a korter an gamor. Ach, ha ymig over at a jalichche, ek pipe den ille is an toshach uch. I guess I started tinkering about in the chanter when I was about eight or nine. Um, and my dad kind of started giving me regular lessons which of course I decided I didn't want to do after about a couple of months and realising it, it was actually quite hard work. I felt on the stay at Mahar, I was hoshik me during the Pekan Le Shishin. Ach, hoshik a kerst gonsu to the Hanik Ferriguric Connor in Ferrivac Gieskach. I was a giri oper si yenrig, I was Hanik a goper Connor in Iranashak. I was a palahawk of a click peep, a canal, I was. Quand j'étais très jeune, euh, avec mon frère Dominique, euh, notre souvenir est qu'on euh, avait vu un paiban qui était venu, écossais qui était venu dans notre ville de Saint-Malo. Je devais avoir euh, 11 ans, 12 ans et j'avais été impressionné par euh, le son de cette cornemuse écossaise. Well, I call it now we can fast. Now that I'm here, I shall find find my girl. Get your people that get all the stuff. We need to follow. Hail me, close and go. Me when I call it, we need to string the piece ripping. Ra, but the close of all the close acts we need. Especially that we will run it. My son, I guess me like a little bit of people that. My father actually dabbled with the pipes a little bit, and then. Um, I have two older brothers who got started on the chanter and so just bit by bit I kind of started to try and copy them and was picking up the chanter and, and playing by ear a little bit from the age of about five. The man who lived uh, two, two floors below us in the tenement block was Alec Ibell and he taught all the wee boys in the street, all the urchins, um, uh, the pipes. <laughs> he just sort of... Um, so you out playing football and said, look, would you like to learn the bagpipes? It was just something that was a way of life. It was a matter of time before you got your first chanter, a bit like waiting for your first bike or something. But in our house, it was like, I just, you know, I just knew that was the way of it. So my first recollection of sort of piping in the house was the, the table in the living room with a group of, of young players there and my father with the chanters. And, and I remember I used to sit there and, and mimic them and ask the boys if I could get a chance to play. I couldn't play, but I would mimic it. And my father obviously watched that very carefully and just timed his run as he always did because he was, he was a shrewd individual who knew exactly how to, to time things. And at one stage, when I was about six, he gave me a half size practice chanter and said, it's now time to be a bit serious about this. I can do so. I draw, I draw me each of this on a, a few a hookle. Um, I can do so. 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 I was basically around piping from day one. 
My dad was a pipe major of a band there, and my grandfather over there also played the pipes. So I kind of, I guess I found my first kind of musical or live musical experiences going around Highland Games in uh, Red Deer and Fort Edmonton Park over in Canada. Um, with that kind of background, I suppose, combined with the fact that I've got kind of family history in the instrument, I didn't have that much choice. More than first, and I was a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit Agasinidumayedigasavalakatuodunrahagasahatsianiga John McDonald's welcome to South Hughes. She told the knee that all the pricker in your burst shin. I was share here in the Yumsi Hans a burst. I hence my head is usually pull a horror. Hanils Marotak sail vehicle and a rotak and a hakin, Hamakatanit at Gaha Yagas, brought on fear you him. I was him could again a cagan horror burst, a conscrease to root my crow. I was him with the hue with the vingies to Yagas Yumsi a burst. Um, but um, Bahara, Rahanta, the duty, hitty, 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 a hot, the door, a horror, hitty, um, but um, Bahara, Rahanta, the duty, hitty, hitty, oh, hitty, a hurry, harrah, hum, para, hum, drum, shinny, hit, hitty, ye. As her queen, could you can wake a wish? Go on, who's on the loose, I guess, a drown my hullet in the mahoosh, I guess, some Hanil Bijak Shinakat Kar stitches, Chimera Vizakas Galibijak Shin Karakamaha, Yumskara Fedirina, Yumsi Gons, a couple. People knew uh, how to read music uh, as an academic guide, but that's all it was. The book was just a guide, you know, to, 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 to learn notes. And we had to learn, we had to learn the notes and the ornamentations as they were written. But uh, the way we learned, the real feeling and the real uh, expression of piping and the style of piping was in the in counterach, and that's the way I learned. And and also, of course, with the counterach, you're maintaining the oral tradition in it. You're you're maintaining the feeling that's been passed down. I think that's interesting too. That's the, that's like you can't really like read about that and try and invent it or, or reinvent it by your playing. You have to have somebody singing to you and passing you that feeling or that rhythm, and that's uh, it's like that's the way we do it. So you know you, you can pass it on that way. I'm a smoonjin on a large you can ye can't you ask do you share is on English kill more go you dosher my house on. I was going to go to the house and the and the and lights and shades, subtleties. I was going to go to the house and the house. Et je suis allé travailler à Aberdeen comme uh, French assistant au lycée d'Aberdeen, the Rubislow Academy. Et j'ai vécu pendant un an à Aberdeen et toutes les semaines je prenais le, le, le bus pour aller jusqu'à Balmoral et je restais pendant le, le week-end, pendant deux jours, trois jours avec Bob Brown et on travaillait avec le counter, le, et puis voilà. 
Don't jump into the last, the next bar. Like this. Après avoir passé trois jours chez Bob Brown, euh, je, il ne voulait pas que je prenne les, les livres. Et euh, tout était travaillé par le chant et la mémoire. Donc, il, fallait, il fallait que je mémorise la musique. Et donc quand je rentrais dans le bus euh, pour rentrer à Aberdeen, je chantais, je chantais tous mes pieds euh, pour être sûr de ne pas oublier. Et le soir, je rentrais à Aberdeen. Et là, j'ouvrais mes livres de Pibro et je regardais je, je, et je découvrais des choses extraordinaires. Parce que c'est la, la musique, c'est est difficile, c'est impossible d'écrire sur du papier l'expression le, musicale du Pibro. Mais avec le chant, grâce au chant, j'ai appris euh, l'essentiel, en fait, c'est-à-dire l'expression le, le, musicale, pas de la technique. Euh... Je suis une rache, Agus ha fata ha fata nas uh, nas kelvre uh, anike tu faun revinach uh, kuchok ha fata nas sasa kelmorium sochuk agus nur hajun de kinyach geran tro 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 vialaris so chloish eva dunya kiumsa karar ta feikin chen skriche tukish en norsen kereshit na sa vaun agus gela hata nas tacht nike. We had a, a guy at the piping centre from Serbia doing a talk on Serbian piping and he was saying they, they, they don't even get to touch the pipes until they can sing all the tunes and you know, it's quite a nice thought and they don't call it playing the pipes, they call it singing the pipes because they learn it all in their head first and they, and they can vocalise it first. Is je hij eens nog kwijt geil was aan de nalpe, eigenlijk goed je geld aan de nieding, boert je gewie kra, de schijne piepe, en maat je wie kra, kleine piepe. Magoochig a fel barach cor y mawn y ffib yn ys hwyn diwch, na fa awn y diwedd. Ha tri yn y dyn nasiant o anang o lasg o hen, ffar a fel i gachegysg eich ar dydd y, agos hyd jag y ffiws eith cem o hord ymach o'n ymhyb y ddwch. Wel, ha nechawnt yn diwedd yn leis na hwnnw nech ha diwedd yn y pib y ddwch yn mar hem, agos bydd chi dy... Gaunsa hwg na pib ydych gael na siow. Se na teacher yn awns nion at siow a ha gan cheikas pib ydych. Agus bi hi at dy gaunsa gadig agus kultur agus dwchus na halop a cwtsioch awns a cholwstio. Agus sy'n mar a ha rwyd yn a gopar. Ha i'r arsonio se a fi gan cheikas pib ydych sy'n rwyd ys cwtru mi chi. I'r arsonio. I teach in a degree course now. Um, between the, the piping centre and the RSAMD and really by, by the time we get our students um, we kind of assume that they've got a, a grounding and we're getting some excellent, excellent players and um, Alan McDonald takes them uh, on one side of it and looks at Cantorach and older style playing and kind of unpicks all that stuff that um, they perceive as being right or wrong. And on the other side, we have Stuart Sampson teaching them 
the what we call maybe more conventional competition style. Um, so we have a real a real broad spectrum of piping styles, and I think for me that's the important thing. People will argue, you know all day long that this is the way to do it or that's the way to do it and this is the way to do it and the, my idea about producing pipers who have a, a rounded knowledge of it all is where I really want to be with the students. We have to abide by the basic tenets of the college established in 1944 which was that we would make lessons as affordable as we possibly can. Uh, when the college was established it was you know 1944 there was not an awful lot of money around and uh, it was decided then that the, the the lack of money would never be an impediment to anyone who wanted to learn the pipes at the College of Piping and we give lessons for free for, for people who can't afford it. Well, I had to change the dashach and I had to give the whole thing that is Czechisk in the whole thing in the draft and I said I was going to say that I had to say GDE I knew now as a whole of the clerk when he had to the Tasha Hook. Ach, my height is in a rash, he had a covol and an och kiet fichet, a tonal tonal loch as in a skernoch. Here given the carrion so now as Guturitor Yellowstre. Haro, haro standard must it down, haro shake I guess an emmer. So I have had a scene in here. Have had a scene in here. I 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 have had a in a culture agus dúchas le pípe agus a mucana de pípe mar sin por monagalic agus rúd an machine agus nuair a haoi i mar a bhí mission nuair a bhí mí óg gionsaí de pípe gír bhí gír gionsaí chéad chár chár óg gionsaí mór an mhuin culture na pípe. Well, the National Piping Centre um, is there to promote and encourage the study of the the, the Highland bagpipe. It's, you know, tried to build up um, all of the teaching side of things, uh, teaching every level of uh, student from beginner through to advanced, to the point now that we have people that we teach on a BA Scottish Music Piping course, which is in collaboration with the Academy of Music and Drama. And beyond that, we have now pipers doing master's degrees and PhDs, which is an incredible thing. We're trying to fire on all cylinders, really, trying to promote piping uh, for everyone and in whatever way we can to just raise the profile of piping and, and open it up to as many people as we can. Je shorsha gis han yo kincho je shorsha pi bavan a shorsha di people rivichin agis mala amanalpa von marashimpa and 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 kerblina jiuk and the bag it starts to appear uh, i think it possibly comes from the middle east whether it's from north africa or through eastern europe i'm not quite sure but certainly bags become the thing uh, the fashion for a bag uh, just quickly spreads right the way across westwards and people uh, stop using the circular breathing presumably the bag makes life a bit easier and it does mean you can keep going for longer and possibly it means that the intonation of the instrument can can last longer it also means you can play a bit louder
Tjurse de skillen sårige ik nog even tjelig in maar kwam ik krimmen. Agus kwam ik kaarster aan het senilen skiën nog. Agus kwam ik rein, senilen woelen. Agus de even tjelig in er een tjier woord, maar kwam ik krieger. Agus ne komen ik aan ons transpe. Agus waar je te vaas skill al. Agus maar hij is niet jongs van de jurgen begint te. Ze is als het je echt re sorgje erfiep agus er natuurlijk een schen ach nam werkse waar kengel oor was ook later eter natuurlijk een agus aan oor de hikke gier te maag ik en toch ook aan zijn koik of no schief no schaakgevlinde jeuk gano kengelig een later eter agus na baart Agus skolchen bartoch a fa bichent a eter alope agus eirin tro na mia noeisen. Fy ag belari siawn gyro na diffyr tseolich yn dol chymichol agus hami cretchen gynro clami crimen dol go el an ile agus go gus yn tîr môr agus mar a siempler a dol go dwych i cwy an yn tyrtua na halep in. Mae'r sy'n hae byg yn toentje siach yn stu a hae sy'n i leog ond sy'n leorig yn cwmwnt yn land yw. Ar yr nai wyr yr originated, nor probably will we ever know, but certainly on the southern part of Ireland and down around Cork and places like that, three, four hundred years ago, there were pipes there at that time. Well, it has become symbolic of Scotland as a result of its use uh, in the Highland regiments from the 18th century through the Victorian era um, and through the, the, the Great War uh, perhaps in particular to the extent that now everywhere in the world um, the word bagpipe is immediately associated with Scotland even if um, in fact it belongs to a much wider area Ma mi ddech bliwna y gwych na fy gwych mi ar y nietan yn hosioch. Hosioch mi o'r hwyr yn glas ac yn corym ech dri hechnig. Ach gymal fwy, gan ych mi gyrw ciol na pibau y cwrtas yn gymwyr. Ach, ha ymwg yfyr at yr iallach chi, ech pibau yn ille y son tosioch yw. I guess I started tinkering about in the chantop when I was about eight or nine. Um, and my dad kind of started giving me regular lessons which of course I decided I didn't want to do after about a couple of months and realising it, it was actually quite hard work. I felt on the stay at Mahar, I was hoshik me during the big and little shin. Ach, hoshik a kerst gonsu to the hanik fere gurich konlorin, fere vak gieskach, I was a kiri oper si yeonrig, I was hanik a goper konlorin er a nashak. I was a pala hawk of a klich peep, a kanaum, I was quand j'étais très jeune, euh, avec mon frère Dominique, euh, notre souvenir est qu'on euh, avait vu un paiban qui était venu, écossais qui était venu dans notre ville de Saint-Malo. Je devais avoir euh, 11 ans, 12 ans et j'avais été impressionné par euh, le son de cette cornemuse écossaise. Well, how cold it must be. Well, that's more than first, and 
John McDonald's Welcome to South Youth. Shut down the knee, the dollar pricker in your burst shin. I was share here in the youth, he found the burst. I hence my head is usually full of horror. Hanil's more at exhale, we which are not taking a hakin, Hamaka than it at Gaha Yagas, brought on fear you him. I was him could again a cagon horror burst, I can squeeze your roots nahro. I was him with the hue with the wingies, I was him see a burst. Um, but um, Bahara, Rahanta, the duty, hitty, 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 a hot, the door, a horror, hitty, um, but um, Bahara, Rahanta, the duty, hitty, hitty, oh, hitty, a hurry, harrahum, para, hum, drum, shinny heat, hitty, ye. As her queen, could you can wake a wish? Go on, who's on the lewis, I guess, a drown my hullet in the mahoosh, I guess, some Hanil Bijak Shinakat Kar stitches, Chimera Vizakas Galibijak Shin Karak Maha, Himskere Fedirina, Yunsi Gons, a couple. People knew uh, how to read music uh, as an academic guide, but that's all it was. The book was just a guide, you know, to, 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 to learn notes. And we had to learn, we had to learn the notes and the ornamentations as they were written. But uh, the way we learned, the real feeling and the real uh, expression of piping and the style of piping was in the in counterach, and that's the way I learned. And and also, of course, with the counterach, you're maintaining the oral tradition in it. You're you're maintaining the feeling that's been passed down. I think that's interesting too. That's the, that's like you can't really. Ha mi chech bliona u gish na de yach mi ar inyet an in hoshach. Hoshich mi or hu den glas sak in korum ech tri hechner. Ach gemal wo ja nich mi gro kol ne pipe e korter am gemor. Ach ha immer over at der jalche ek pipe den elle e son toshoch. I guess I started thinking about in the chant up when I was about 8 or 9. Um and my dad kind of started giving me regular lessons which of course I decided I didn't want to do after about a couple of months and realising it, it was actually quite hard work. I felt on the stay at Mahar, I was hoshik me during the pick and lish a shin. Ach hoshik a kerst gons at Rahanik Ferriguric Connor in Ferrivac Giuskach, I guess a giri oper si yonrig, I guess Hanik a goper Connor in Ernashak. I guess a palahawk of a click peep, a canal, I guess. Quand j'étais très jeune, euh, avec mon frère Dominique, euh, notre souvenir est qu'on euh, avait vu un paiban qui était venu, écossais qui était venu dans notre ville de Saint-Malo. Je devais avoir euh, 11 ans, 12 ans et j'avais été impressionné par euh, le son de cette cornemuse écossaise. Well, her color never make a name fast. Never have me a horse a queen, female girl, killer, peep, that got all the stew. When you fall off, hide me, claw, and a guy, my van had a color when you could string, na piece, ripping her. Rooted the clothes of all the clothes, axe when you 
especially that we were drinking it myself. I guess me like a little bit of a peep. My father actually dabbled with the pipes a little bit, and then um, I have two older brothers who got started on the chanter, and so just bit by bit I kind of started to try and copy them, and was picking up the chanter and and playing by ear a little bit from the age of about five. The man who lived uh, two two floors below us in the tenement block was Alec Ibell, and he taught all the wee boys in the street, all the urchins, um, uh, the pipes. <laughs> he just sort of um, saw you out playing football and said, look, would you like to learn the bag? Oh, yeah, like this. Après avoir passé trois jours chez Bob Brown, euh, je, il ne voulait pas que je prenne les, les livres. Et euh, tout était travaillé par le chant et la mémoire. Donc, il, fallait, il fallait que je mémorise la musique. Et donc quand je rentrais dans le bus euh, pour rentrer à Aberdeen, je chantais, je chantais tous mes pieds euh, pour être sûr de ne pas oublier. Et le soir, je rentrais à Aberdeen. Et là, j'ouvrais mes livres de Pibro et je regardais et je, je, et je découvrais des choses extraordinaires. Parce que c'est la, la musique, c'est difficile, c'est impossible d'écrire sur du papier l'expression le, musicale du Pibro. Mais avec le chant, grâce au chant, j'ai appris euh, l'essentiel, en fait, c'est-à-dire l'expression le, le, musicale, pas de la technique. Euh Agus go an a chantarach gag an caimbalach an nerigail as an a feichin gar a daiv aun iter an aran agus galmor va fata fata na paske na ha a ju agus chomishiram the galarash gurinidish an agus na kail the chin a shit the kaleichin it dunye agus gibig boy ag er an daiv sa hajn a cloich galmor a ju. I guess half at a half at a nas nas kelvre, anikhe tu faun revinach, kuchok half at a nas sasa kelmori unsoch. I guess nur hajun ne kinyach keran tro tro vialarish, tro chloish eva dunya kinyach harar ta feikin shi an skriche. Tukish an norshin kereshit an nas faun I guess kela hat a nas tachtinikhe. We had a, a guy at the piping centre from Serbia doing a talk on Serbian piping and he was saying they, they, they don't even get to touch the pipes until they can sing all the tunes and you know, it's quite a nice thought and they don't call it playing the pipes, they call it singing the pipes because they learn it all in their head first and they can vocalise it first. Is je hij eens nog kwijt geil was aan de nalpe, eigenlijk goed je geld aan de nieding, boert je gewie kra, de schijne piepen, en maat je wie kra, kwijtne piepen. Aan aan de nalpe, ik geweld. Tri dosan, tri dush, er er fib agus has josh de toas no balance sound ete fuim nan dosan agus fuim anietan agus marava fuim anietan a fast na slajera va femal ner som dosele so ha ha intrud you and raster so ha ha fuim ne pib a fast na slajera agus ha Ida dalna saat je kuchio. Ik ga niet eens naar de senior Viana gaan haan ik hier in Hoshio. Ik is kind de schuil die als een schoon er vuig naar een jorp. Zijn die alapen gezongen iets hij kuchiaat aan een jeintje naar voortloei. Whether it came to Scotland first, whether it came to England or Ireland first, we'll never know. And I think everyone in all those different countries will all claim their right to that heritage. Um, the, the thing about it for me is. Wherever it came first, Scotland adopted it as our national instrument. Uh, and on the moment you lift a set of, of bagpipes, Great Highland bagpipes as they're known, the moment you lift a set of them, people immediately think Scotland. It's a brand now. Uh, and, and 
and the and the bagpipe is is the brand of Scotland. So, to me, it it, it will never probably matter now where it originated, nor probably will we ever know. But certainly, on the southern part of Ireland and down around Cork and places like that, uh, three four hundred years ago, there there were pipes there at that time. Well, it has become symbolic of Scotland as a result of its use uh, in the Highland regiments from the 18th century through the Victorian era um, and through the, the, the Great War uh, perhaps in particular to the extent that now everywhere in the world um, the word bagpipe is immediately associated with Scotland even if um, in fact it belongs to a much wider area Ich habe mich nicht mehr in der Gegend, aber ich habe mich nicht mehr in der Gegend. Ich habe mich in der Klasse in der Gegend. Ich habe mich nicht mehr 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 in der Gegend. <laughs> ach, koasse hanige Fieb vo Hüs. Kist schwöf, ach, fußklug, ek luch gech drie Hülore. Ha, schien gubi kind joch, gen danige Fieb vo, oh no, Piepen vo Irak, no Iran, vor a weil, mar a schempler, Rivitschen, agus, Luachran, I guess, Burin, Burin Gai, we be a gen of Rivich, Kuhl, as some people, Achvat, Lienchen, Ethers, and Toshuhug, and the Lienchen, Roy Christ, I guess, Mustanic Peep, the Peepen, go Gun Ron Yorpa, I guess, Mustanic a Feep, do. Do, do vretin, I guess, do, do From Mesopotamia, uh, we then have uh, double pipes blown in the mouth with, with circular breathing. There's no bag at this date. Um, we then have the double pipes of Egypt, ancient Greece, and Rome. And we know that in Greece and Rome, uh, these pipes were very sophisticated, um, uh, particularly in the late Roman period. 200, 300 AD, where um, we have actual instruments that survive, several, about six or seven, from Pompeii and elsewhere. <laughs> There's no evidence of a bag for the pipes of Scotland or Ireland or England before about the 13th or 14th century. In fact, it's, it's the earliest uh, text of the Canterbury Tales where the miller is playing a bagpipe. That's the first evidence we have for a bag on the pipes of Britain and Ireland. And before then, the UK had um, a, a triple pipe. Um, it wasn't just the double pipe of an ancient uh, Egypt, Mesopotamia, Rome and Greece. It was um, a triple pipe and we see those um, from the 8th century, in fact, on Iona, um, St. Martin's Cross in front of the Abbey and Clonmacnoise in Ireland and even Westminster Abbey. Uh, they all have representations of the triple pipe. So we know that certainly between the 8th and the 13th century,